Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the Prince of Monaco, His Serene Highness Albert II, in the presence of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to Prince Albert II and His Majesty's wishes for the country for further progress and prosperity. The two parties signed an MOU in the field of developing and regulating harbors and marine yachts. The meeting discussed a cooperation in various fields, especially in organizing ports and seaports to serve the ship's uh, traffic and yachts, and highlighted ways uh, to create a digital window for yachts in support of the tourism sector in Bahrain. His Highness trust uh, the MOU's importance in making the kingdom a hub for ports and yachts in line with uh, Bahrain's economic vision 2030. Under the patronage of the Minister of Labour, Jamil Ahmedan, the Bahrain Society for Training and Resource Development held the International Conference on Skills under the title Development and Reorientation of Skills and Flexible Training. The conference aims to share experiences and best practices in the development of skills and flexible training in various sectors, such as the oil and gas, banking sector, telecommunications, education sector and services sectors. Hamidan stressed the continuation of the Ministry of Labour's cooperation with all relevant authorities to enhance national efforts in the field of qualifying national cadres capable of occupying leadership positions in companies and institutions. He called job seekers and workers in private sector institutions to promote self-development through continuous education and training. The conference also highlighted the importance of organizing future trends by refining skills to help employees and institutions achieve career development goals and attracting a large segment of workers in various governments and private sectors. The Kingdom of Bahrain expresses its full solidarity with Saudi Arabia and its refusal to politicize the OPEC Plus decision, expressing its appreciation for the wise policy of Saudi Arabia to consolidate security and peace in the region and the world. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs commended the pivotal role of Saudi Arabia in ensuring energy security and oil market stability to achieve a balance between the interests of producers and consumers, enhance prosperity for the peoples of the region and the world, and support global economic growth. Bahrain expresses its pride in the stances of Saudi Arabia in setting regional and international conflicts by peaceful means, combating extremism and terrorism and its support for international endeavors to end the current wars and crises within the commitment to the UN Charter and principles of the international law. Brotherly bilateral relations and great cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in all fields that enhance the prosperity of the region and supports global economic growth. 
Saudi Arabia plays a pivotal role in ensuring energy security and stability of the oil market in order to achieve a balance between the interests of producers and consumers, and the Kingdom of Bahrain supports all decisions taken by Saudi Arabia due to its firm belief in its important role in this regard. The honorable historical stances of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia support its position in every forum. The Kingdom has professionally and over decades has been able to settle regional and international conflicts by peaceful means, combat extremism and terrorism, and supports international endeavors to end current wars and crises. The Kingdom of Bahrain constantly emphasizes the integration and interdependence and conformity of positions with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its continuous support for its important role in strengthening the stability of the global economy as a fundamental pillar of security and stability in the region and the world and its great political role in its leading position in the Arab, Islamic and global regions and its tireless efforts in preserving global economic stability and consolidating its sustainable leading role in achieving peace. Governmental hospitals and the Arabian Gulf University AGU signed an agreement to promote and develop a cooperation. The chief executive of government hospitals, Ahmed Mohammed Al Ansari, highlighted the aim of the agreement, which is to invest the expertise and capabilities of the two sides to contribute to the development of the health system. Vice President of AGU Abdul Rahman Yusuf Ismail said that this agreement works to provide a stimulating environment for conducting scientific research according to international standards of quality ISO. The agreement came within the mutual commitment towards excellence in healthcare and clinical training, which is the primary task for both parties. 127 international organizations concerned with enhancing democracy and human rights in the world issued an international statement in which they expressed appreciation for the democratic march in Bahrain. The international organizations also hailed the royal support to the Bahraini march, which placed Bahrain at the top of regional countries through launching a parliamentary life and a comprehensive popular participation. They affirmed that this march developed a deep model dimension as a result of the royal support of the reform project, which was led by His Majesty the King and the support of the Bahraini people, who voted 98% during the National Action Charter referendum. The organizations hailed His Majesty the King's keenness on enhancing popular participation in state management. Bahrain Momtelikat Holding Company is among the top 10 sovereign wealth funds, according to Forbes Middle East published data on the assets under management of the 10 largest Arab sovereign wealth funds from the Sovereign Wealth Funds Institute. More in this report. According to Forbes Middle East published data on the assets under management of the 10 largest Arab sovereign wealth funds from the Sovereign Wealth Funds Institute, Bahrain Mumtalakat Holding Company is among the top 10 sovereign wealth funds. The projects of the government of the Kingdom of Bahrain are conclusive evidence of the efforts of Bahrain Mumtalakat Holding Company, and this result is due to the investments made by the company, whose portfolio consists of more than 50 companies, including the aluminum Bahrain Alba. Bahrain Mumtalakat Holding Company's efforts continue to enhance the economy of the Kingdom of Bahrain and provide it with investments, making the Kingdom of Bahrain an ideal environment for investments and tourism. As a result, Bahrain's economy continues to grow and achieve the desired aspirations of the government and people of the Kingdom of Bahrain.